are live. Welcome to the HB official live stream. I'm Keith, the community manager, and here with Anthony, the producer of the golf club. How are you today, sir? I'm not too bad. Busy as usual, but you know. Good. Looking good. forward to a, a, a nice round of golf with you. Excellent live stream. I'm Keith, oh. the community manager, and here Time with out. Anthony, the producer of the golf club. What's going on? How are you today? I, always, I forgot to pause it. I always do that. <laughs> so I was listening to my own stream. Uh, it likes to come through. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we are at Dunholm Manor Golf and Country Club. This is by Han. Uh, just added to the suggested list um, this week. It's a really good course. I don't know if anybody's played it. I actually played through the uh, amateur, the handicap cup. So I've got a score put up there for you guys if you want to give it a go. Uh, let me just try and get here. Just gonna pull up some questions, and let me get the chat. All sorts of stuff to to work out. All right, so we are good to go here. We're gonna do Stableford. We're on a handicap course, so we do have our handicaps in effect. Uh, if anybody yeah. wants to join us, feel free. The uh, Auto Ed friends should be on. Let me just double check and see, just in case. I know Fusion had said he might jump in. There he is. Let me get him on the card. There we go. All right. So, uh, oh, let me hit one here, and then I'll. Oh, there goes Fusion's jumping out. I'll hit one, and then I'll get a question off for you. Cool. I'll bang mine in there as well. All right, so in the forums, Pub Knight started off and said, in the GNCD, the green firmness settings are a slider. However, extensive testing by the design community shows that only three different green firmness results come from this slider. Now, is there any chance of getting this improved or at the very least adding a few more green firmness results? Um, yeah, it's, all a, it's all, all a matter of time, really. It's just um, the physics code that needs to be done on the on the firmness is one of them things you know when you hear people oh, there was a great post on the operation sports uh forums over the weekend by a car, guy called motown or something that said there's no excuse for um uh slow frame rates on modern consoles which made me laugh a little and made me respond um like modern consoles all it does is it, it's got higher processing power and it gives you the ability to like draw more triangles and do more processing in that period of time each bit each process takes a time so it like to do that um you know it's always we're always going to max it out the graphics get better we've got now two kilometer square golf course before you know you used to only ever get one hole um so that's that's sort of more things getting drawn and it's the same compared to golf games compared to call of duty or your um, ghost recons and things like that is that we've got mm -hmm. physics on each surface so no one cares in Call of Duty when you're running through deep grass or um, or like short grass or whatever you just got like this makes you this amount visible mm -hmm. uh, where we have to do physics on each part of that surface and we have to work out exactly what's going on and we've got to make sure that all these things are happening so it's there's, there's an amount of work and it needs to be done in a way that's optimal so it doesn't bring frame rates down and mm -hmm. that's that's why the it's only three rather than zero to a hundred on the slider. Gotcha. Uh, ISU Reaper, how's it going? Jim Zed says Keith's been sandbagging. He's better than than a, a plus four. <laughs> uh, that's because you that's because you're playing on the uh, weekly stream, and uh, when you're playing while while streaming, it always makes you worse player. I don't know. Yeah, my handicap has been slowly creeping down or up, however you want to call it, but. I was I don't qualify for the the elite cup anymore. <laughs> I got to play some easy courses to put up some good scores there and and get it back up again there so I can I can qualify for that tournament. All right, what have I got here? Yeah. It's like the new chip. Everyone loves the new chip. Yeah, I do. I think it's good. Uh, WGT Bugsy, so much squirts, more squirt on here than Pornhub, okay, I'll take your word for that. Uh, haven't been there yeah. <laughs> in a while anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, God, that's my part to get my three points. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. I'll wait here on the T. If anybody else wants to join, feel free. Of course, you have to be on my friends list. Uh, just post up in the chat there if you're if you've joined. Um, it should auto add, but just in case. Uh, so, a couple things going on here. Knockout tournament. We are down to the very nitty gritty. We got our finalists for PC. Uh, our finalists for Xbox and the PS4 is squaring off as we speak. They're going to knock it down to their hopefully the final two, and then we're going to get those uh, we're going to get those championship matches started. Uh, for yeah, they, they've been really successful. I've been really impressed with them. I've, I've uh, yeah, yeah, looked at a few. It's quite quite an entertaining way to uh, spend the evening. Yeah, it's gone over gone over well. It's uh, we've got. The um, Doily and Blue Orf going off. We might, it might be tomorrow. We're trying to work out a time. Uh, Els and I are gonna, gonna call that final on the PC. So might be tomorrow. It'll definitely be streamed. So keep an eye out for that. I'll definitely be posting some messages up so everybody's, uh, everybody's up to date on when that's happening. The Xbox One. I know one of the guys is not home until October second. So there's a little. We're gonna wait on that one a little bit. And like I said, PS4 is, uh, they're working it down to the final two guys, so I will keep you posted on that. I birdied this one, Keith, and you got you got, you got a birdie just to get your two points, so this is... Uh, uh, you're probably going to take me on this one, let's see. Stapleford's my, uh, my game of choice when playing in real life. Uh -huh. uh, it, it saves me on them awful holes where I get the, uh, <laughs> get the sevens and nines. Ah, there you go. Got my birdie, but knocks it down to a two with a handicap. Yeah, we're level. Level going in. Yep, four points apiece. Fusion has it putted out on number two, maybe, or scored it and populate up there. Huh. Uh, Fusion said, I think that having more firmness settings would add a lot to courses. Um, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, more of, more of anything adds more to courses. Um, you know, uh, anything we can add, the better. Um, so it's just basically getting time and making sure that it doesn't affect frame rates detrimentally um, going forward. Uh, Ayesha Reaper, keep your thoughts on the new True Sim Tour on TGC Tours, and will you be joining us? I have a really hard time putting without the green grids. I did play with everything off except the green grids. I kept them on, and I was actually it was actually pretty enjoyable. Especially when you have courses that you know you have uh, <coughs> the fairways that are visible and and things like that, it makes it makes it pretty good. Uh, I think what did I shoot? I forgot what courses I played. To be honest, I think I played um, Storm Golf's, the Galveston Country Club. I played it that way. That was really good. That was set up uh, really nice. That is a nice course, actually. Yeah. yeah, it worked really well without the aids on and things because everything is right there in front of you and it's easy. To see, you know, where your fairways are and things, and then I think I played. Oh, shoot! Now I'm gonna forget the name. Uh, Canvas Park, I think that was by B. Ross, 2387. I played that one as well. I think that way it was another good course to play without the aids on there. Oh, oh just missed it. Uh, so I. Don't know. The jury's still out. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to work on that one to see because I know that true sim tour is no aids at all. No, not even green grids, and that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty difficult. So I'll have to see. I might have to represent and get my butt kicked there. I'm hoping by mid October um, I'm a lot freer at the weekends and stuff, so I can um, uh, move on to uh, getting my TGC tour filled in properly and uh, competing week on week. Nice. Uh, Scruffy says the new chip is a shrunken pitch. Come on. Uh, I don't know if that's true, Scruffy. Why do you think it's that? It's, uh, I think it's just a, a tuned version of what we wanted. Um, what What did you prefer about the old one? You know, everyone everyone said, that, oh, what you need to do is work on the short game, work on the short game. Uh, so we did. And, uh, you know, I think overall it's playing pretty well. And we played a lot of it in here. We we tuned it once released. I think looking at the feedback, it 
most people are pretty happy with it now. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah, we could definitely dial in uh, percentages that you want. It seems, I mean, it's a... Oh, well, it's the ref. It seems that it, it lofts up a little bit higher now, so you can clear the... And the that was fringe. the biggest problem we had. It was, it was never... It was never... If you had a bunker and something in front of you, you could never dink it over it. Mm -hmm. And now you can. And that was one of the things that we tried to address. Yeah, I think definitely uh, up over the uh, fringe or the rough. Uh, if you're didn't get out. This is short. Uh, uh, Royce MM. Oh, that's no, it. The chip on Xbox is much worse now. It's like jabbing at the ball with a stick instead of stroking it. Uh, well, so Keith, you're an Xbox One player. What's your opinion? No, I don't. I don't see that at all. It's very smooth to me. I don't know if something is something is goofy there with your. Uh, I would imagine he's locked out, so we got the the server side update, but it should not be. It shouldn't yeah. be like a jab at all. Uh. I got a 19 footer here. Oh, ah, missed it. Uh, Fusion is asking to go back to the firmness. Is why aren't firmness settings just some kind of multiplier? Can you give a bit more technical explanation, please? If there's a one and a two, why can't there be a 1.5, which can be coded quite easily? That's a um, it's a good point. Um, I I don't know fully. Um, I didn't code it. Um, I haven't coded for nine years, so <laughs> Rami gets really upset when I tell him I can do stuff in two weeks. <laughs> so uh, I have to not answer too much about programming, um, but I'm sure there's a reason. And even multiplying is a is a, a processing time. So it's uh, it's not it's not completely free. This has been a disastrous hole. <laughs> there you go. I only got one point on that one. Fusion took a two. He's been steady two points all the way across. Oh. You got a zero, so yeah. See, but that's good. That would have killed me in the in the stroke play. Right, exactly. Uh, Roy says no green grids. Ouch! Some people just love misery. It is I'd tough. Agree, I'd agree with Royce on that one. I have to say that there's just no need to play without green grids. Just <laughs> uh, ISC Reaper says don't knock it till you try it, though. Uh, I have yeah. tried it a couple times. It is it is very difficult. It definitely takes some getting used to for sure. Uh, Scruffy says the ball on the chip goes way too high now. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't totally agree. You know, if like I, I look at it. And I said if like if I'm trying to dink it over over a bunker and stuff, I can do that now. But before I couldn't. And um, you know what. What would we do to change that? You know, I think it, it feels like the way I play a chip in real life now, a lot more so than it did before. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, we're always looking at feedback. So, you know, if you if you can send me some videos or something of uh, um, of like how you think it should be in real life and how ours is in comparison, you know, we've we've modelled it on what we could find around and how we play the game and you know we go out on onto the uh, course up the road and look at each other's chips and we go and uh, look on YouTube and see how certain pros are doing it and then we try and model the ball on that and you know I think we've got it pretty close so okay. uh, Doyle says I hit a 67% drive earlier today by accident uh, app state I like the update uh, uh. So is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Scurvy says it's not real life; it's a video game. But that's hard. Um, to that's true, but you know, uh, and I I agree with you. Uh, you know, ninety five percent of the time, but we are trying to represent the feeling of golf. Um, so we have to be somewhat realistic, you know. There's there's other games out there um, that if you don't want the you know the the, f the true golf simulation experience, 
they're out there for you to play. But we, you know, we're trying to trying to simulate the world of golf in a way that isn't as annoying as being as bad as you are in real life, but you know, give you that feeling of playing out on the golf course and at least you know try and create something that you can have a bit of fun with and give you the same sort of thought process while out on the golf course. Um, you know that while doing it in, uh, your, in your living room, so. Uh, yep. B Man Canada, if I wanted real life, I would walk to my local course, honestly. Jim James says, You can't please all, just keep doing what you're doing. B Man Canada, though, but you can only walk to your course six months of the year uh, in <laughs> Canada because we live in Canada and we all know. So, you know, the other six months you, you don't want to be doing that. Uh, so, yeah, like, who wants, who wants, you know, there's a reason golf is fun. Yeah, it's a 200-year game, 200-year-old game. It's still fun. Still, people are playing it, so they've got something right. And trying to recreate that for your living room, you know, and being able to play around in an hour rather than four, or playing in the middle of the night when you get home from work, or you know, playing in the winter. That's some of the reasons why you don't walk to your golf course. Uh, Roy says the granulateness is completely gone from the chip. It's impossible to stroke at 75% if desired. I don't, I don't uh, think so. All right. Well, we're on the call, so I'll try it now. See how I do. Oh, whoa, thought I missed it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't find that to be the case. I just, seven, I just, I just hit 78%. <laughs> yeah, with the, if you've got the. Uh, the server side update, I mean, have you logged out of the game recently or fully quit out? Make sure you fully quit out if you're on Xbox. I know you can just shut your system down, but it, it leaves the game in the background, so make sure you do a full quit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you should be able to get should be able to get really any percentages in there. Uh, just screwed my hole up, though, doing that. Uh, <laughs> All in the name of testing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Yeltsman says you can't chip over a bunker, you can pitch over one. Well, you can dink it. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, it's the same in, in soccer when you're running through on goal, you, you know, you dink it over the keeper, it's like a chip. You know, you know. Uh, I know what you're saying, you're, you're talking about, because the way I putt, I putt very much, uh, chip, I very much chip like a putt. But there is a time when you just, like, you just give it enough of a scoop to get it over a, a certain, certain thing, you know, and, and, that's what we sort of wanted to do before it was it just wasn't going high enough it was just like it was just a little bit low yeah because then you couldn't really I mean if you were three or four yards off the green you know then you wouldn't be able to uh, get it through now you can loft it up over that little bit of rough onto the green mm. uh, Doily it said it was a poor swing, so yes, that was a good thing on his going back to his 67%. Uh, he also really enjoying the new wind. One thing I've noticed uh -huh. is that most 20 rounds are following the pattern of low winds, then gradual rise to 15, then back to low winds. Haven't seen any winds post update that are generally higher for the entire round. Is that possible still? Uh, yes, don't see why not. It just all we did is um. We just we, like, we, we manipulated the graphs a little, but they should still be on the same uh, same sort of uh, oh god like wavelength that they were What's before. There? So I'm having a nightmare all of a sudden. <laughs> I just hit a terrible shot. Uh, 141 yards. Uh, let's see. Roy says he's quit and restarted numerous times. That's kind of bizarre then. Um. I assume Reaper has, I think it means, how has the response to the last patch on PC been received? It's been received uh, really well, apart from some mouse control issues that I'm looking into at the moment due to, it looks to do with something to do with frame rate and, and mouse control um, and frame rate having some some weird oh. thing. Like I've, I've been talking to a few people um, and, and they seem to have had a like a slowdown of their game now that they didn't have before, and then it's having a knock on with their controls. Mm -hmm. But we're not seeing that with the controller, so Owen's looking into it as well at the moment with Rami, and we're seeing if there's any reason why 
not having a controller in or something like that or a certain setup might cause uh, cause a slowdown. But overall, you know, there's there's been a certain amount of people um, not liking the new mouse controls, but oh god. Um, Overall, I think it's been a, a lot more positive than negative. You know, the thing is, when you change something from the way something was, mm -hmm. people, there's always going to be a certain amount of people not happy. But the problem with the mouse controls in the game before was that they never felt right. They never felt perfect. And when you know, you look at something like Lynx 2003, 2004, they had they had a very nice mouse control, and I think we've we've managed to get something very close to that now. And so. Overall, I think the people that were looking for that sort of analog mouse swing control of Lynx 2003 have, have mostly got what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fusion says, thanks HP for the work they did on the mouse. It is now much better than it was when it first changed. Uh, Scruffy says, to add them on PS4, it would be so much easier. Stream or no stream, I promise not to swear, he says. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll I'll try. As I said, I haven't I haven't logged on to my PS4 for, for a couple of weeks. It's been a it's been a hectic few uh, month and a half, two months for me. Uh, moved house twice, and uh, then I had some visitors over and other things happened. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll uh, I'll friend you up. Uh, yeah, if you used pitch, sorry, forever since the update distance the ball goes now has changed. I don't think so. Uh, what's that? Say that again? Uh, oh, you ultimately say if you used pitch for... I'm not sure you say for every shot since the update, the distance the ball goes now has changed? Mm, I don't think so. Um, maybe there was a... Matt did do a little bit of tweaking to pitch, but nothing huge. Just, um, just like, tightening it up a little, so... Um... It might, it might have changed the yardage slightly, but it couldn't have been a huge amount. Okay. We get, uh, good. Before, he says, before a patch, a pitch shot of 60% went 21 yards. See, this is the problem. I'm going to try and get rid of all, all percentages and numbers from the game. Because it's just <laughs> like when I play golf, I don't think if I hit this 60%, it will go 21 yards. I think if I don't hit this full, I've got a good chance of getting it in and around the green. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I think the fact that there's too much play being done with like graphs and tables is just taken away from the fun of the game. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about taking the wind, uh, the wind out, and like mm -hmm. telling you the exact uh, mile an hour, and giving less info on how hard, how far the clubs go, and the exact yardage and stuff like that. Cause it's yeah. just, it's just spoiling it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, guy just puttered it a mile past the hole. Uh, to do uh, Dolly, when creating events, some courses with long names have some of it run off screen, especially those multiple pins. Can we get a scrolling text for those, or a way to see entire course name on a tournament creation screen? Um, yeah, we, we can we can have a look at that actually. Um, can you post that on the, on the forum oh. or PM me one of the two, um, and I'll I'll try and get that in for December. It's uh, it's pretty easy to do, and Microsoft like really like that sort of scrolly text as well. So. Uh, uh, ISU Reaper, the latest patches made the non AIDS tour a bit more challenging to the putting. Uh, did we did we change the putting? No, not that I know. What happened there? Why why did it go right behind the tree? You got uh, you're having a laugh. <laughs> uh, Scruffy says he'll buy the Guinness when you play. Nice, cool. Nice. Are you gonna are you gonna post it over to Canada? <laughs> uh, Scruffy's in the UK, so uh, I should go and have a game with him in real life when I'm when I'm back next. There you go. I'll be back for Christmas. I'll be wearing f full coats and hats. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or is that so, in July also? <laughs> there was one uh, one Boxing Day there years ago. Um, 
I went out. Was it Boxing Day? Day after Boxing Day, and uh, there was a tournament I was playing in, and it, there was this lake in the middle of this uh, course, and I watched so many people hit the ball into the lake, and it bounced off the ice and <laughs> off <laughs> to the green. And I thought, well, I'm not doing that. And I was going around the long way. I thought, and then I absolutely sliced it off towards the lake, and it goes flying in. And I was going, oh well, that's great because that'll just bounce off like everyone else's did straight through. And I was going, that just summed up my day. I think I finished with like eight points or something, or ten points. It was awful, awful day. I'm not getting anywhere close on these shots here. Uh... Burton Cat, when creating tourneys, why can't it be created on one platform and then be available to play on all platforms? Um, we might make that available soon. Yeah, I think we had talked about that last yeah. week as well. Uh, okay. Yes. Two. Let's see if I can make a putt. There we go. Oh, man. The, the, the hole I got the uh, extra shot on. Uh, it was the one that I was messing around with the chip, <laughs> so I didn't get. I didn't I only got one point for it. <sighs> uh, all right. Uh, in the forums, let's see. Uh, Reed Dick says, "What is up with handicapping courses? Anyway, maybe I'm missing something, but I've seen a lot of courses on my favorites list with a ton of plays, but no rating." Um, you should get. Th it should be 300 plays across all platforms. By people who are handicapped already, I think. I think they have to have uh, a handicap yeah. for that. Oh, yeah, so they have to be handicap rated. Yeah. That was it. So that, that's the problem. Is, uh, if we can't tell how good the player is, we can't tell how good their round is. So we need... It's a bit of a chicken and egg scenario. We had to sort of start without that, and then we updated the handicap system in one of the updates after that because we were finding courses were getting strangely rated. And... Um, uh, yeah, so once we had people with handicaps, we could tell how good a player they were, and then you had to have a certain amount of plays by handicapped pl people. I think 300 plays by handicapped players. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's no, we don't really show that anywhere apart from the bar afterwards. Uh, I think there was, I think there was something where it wasn't coming up, and I thought, I would say Mitchell, but maybe th I thought it was sooner than when he had left. But uh, he had gone back through, and a lot of the courses had come through. It's handicapped. I don't know if there was something, there was an issue Mitch, going on. Mitchell, did, Mitchell didn't find a bug with it, and he told me he fixed it um, yeah. before he left. So, um, and we looked at it; it seemed it was fixed. But the problem is, because we've got two separate servers, we've got an internal one and an external one. So, there's always a slight difference. It was the same problem with the wind there the other week when we released stuff. It was like we pushed it out, and it all worked fine internally. And then it's like, oh no, it didn't work. So then we had to pull the build from Sony and Microsoft and push in a new one. And like Sony's pretty pretty quick at pushing things through if they're just like small hot fixes, but Microsoft likes to be very thorough and go all the way through again, which then always adds a little bit of time. Come on, get in the hole. Uh, Reed, but also, asked, are there any plans for some kind of online web-based hub for courses and designers? Uh, um, we see. actually had a huge plan for it at the beginning of the golf club, and then we looked at like getting it done and and what it would cost and it was like oh, we don't want to do it just yet it's I think it's something that we'd like to do definitely um, because you know it's it's good to go on your phone especially if you commute to and from work I don't do that anymore now that I live in Nova Scotia but when I lived in London I always used to be like you know, looking on my phone on the on the train on the way home and you can get stuff like oh, I'll put that put this course in my queue I can put that course in my queue and things like that so that was the sort of thing I wanted to do right? maybe an app or a, a website or something like that but I can't say when it's going to be and if, if we get around to doing it because all these things always take a little bit of time mm -hmm. but I think now that the golf club is is more of a of a brand than it was when we first started nobody knew who we were when we first came out it's, it gives us an opportunity to sort of build on them kinds of things cool Cool. Uh, I S U Reaper. What are the plans for the next update on PC? Plans for the next update on the PC are uh, a couple of new themes. Um, put this multiplayer stuff in. That's what most people are looking at at the moment. Um, I've just got to tune that up and uh, uh, make it like, feel pretty good. It's got a nice onboarding and do some 
nice fancy front end for it um, and so the fact you can play different game modes um, it's called the uh, the John Eric Silencer that's what the feature's <laughs> called um, and uh, I hope it yeah, has so, some white fences too though <laughs> uh, well we're actually looking at white fences today so uh, uh, Travis our, uh, one of our main modelers there is, uh, was doing some white fences I'm not sure um, if we can get them to a good standard. Someone asked last week actually about uh, stone walls and Jim was saying to me after the, uh, the stream that he did actually have stone walls in but he never showed me because they, they, with, the, with the way that stone walls look and stuff they, uh, and have, have to like have them bolder sort of look and then where they fitted into the ground never looked good mm. so he said like in the near future he can't see it happening unless he gets a, a lot of time to work on them uh, okay. so that, that was why stone walls didn't come about um, but um, yeah, so whoever asked that question last week, that was the answer for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, talking about some of the courses that weren't, that aren't handicapped. Uh, Yeltsman, there was a mass update of handicap course a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I remembered there. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, the inevitable from Smurf Blade. Hi guys, following off of what Anthony said last week of the ball squirts, can he clarify exactly how it works? Does it affect all types of shots? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the usual, the inevitable ball squirt question is, has made its appearance. Uh, yeah, we love the ball squirt. Um, <laughs> no. No, I don't know how it works. It's, it's, <laughs> it's got some random on the shot. There you go. That's all I know about it, and I can't take it out. So that's what it is. So end of story. <laughs> Put a bow tie on that one. Yeah. Okay. I'm not answering any more questions. I can't be bothered. Okay. Uh, Fusion, have you revisited the idea of adding a promo difficulty setting to make TGC harder for the more competitive player? Um, I never looked into doing a pro mode, um, unless well, I like the high, the harder swing option, but it should it should always be the um, the chance of like there should be risk and reward. So the people who are on that difficulty swing should always get a little more distance and stuff like that. You know, I I don't go on the golf course, you know, and me and Paul go out I don't go to Paul and say okay today Paul you're going to play on difficulty hard and I'm going to play on difficulty easy we just go out and Paul's better than me and he beats me um, and that's the way it is um, mm -hmm. you know the challenge there is certain things that I think maybe maybe are a little too easy in our game the flop shot being one of them um, but that's whoa nice I hit the uh, hit the wood um, <laughs> and uh, and there's certain oh, things there that, you know we could we could always do with balancing out them things and making certain things harder. What see what I'd prefer is that if you want an easy round, you just play your shots. You know, you play your normal shots and it's all about the percentage and hitting how hard you want to hit it. The better players will have a a certain technique so they can pull off things like flop shots and backspin and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be like in real like in real life, you know, it's very rare that I'll hit any backspin on any of my shots. Um so I know I can't do it, so I just dink it on with a little chip, um, and things like that. So it's it's like that's what we sort of have to uh, have to try and aim for. I, like I've always hated games with with difficulty settings, as I've said many times before, because it means that certain things aren't as balanced as others. So you know, if you play, uh, what you call it, um, think of any game, Call of Duty on hard, like or Call of Duty on easy, one of them like modes has been played properly alien uh, the latest alien game was, was much like that as well mm -hmm. where they they came out and they said it has to, it should be played on hard because the other the other versions weren't tuned the way they wanted it and so we if we have one difficulty I think that's that's how it should be played so you know um, mm -hmm. it is what it is and then you don't get all these arguments either well I play on hard so I'm a better player than you because you play on easy it's just the game is the game and that's what it should be. Gotcha. Uh, 
Uh, Reeve Dugan said, that was me on the stone walls. I'd be happy to screw with the look if needed. <laughs> oh, where's, where's Scruffy? Look at that for the chip. Boom. It's chipping. Oh, dinked. Oh, almost. Just, yeah. Um, this is Smurf, Smurf Blade Mode. It's about squirts and wins by 10 shots. Lucky he does get them. Yeah, he won the... I think he won the FedEx Cup on the TGC Tour, so... I guess it can't be all that bad. Uh... Okay, let's see. Uh, in the forums, John Eric is asking about beach style houses and white fencing. Well, He's white fencing is said we're looking at. So, uh, yeah, you, you might see that for December. Uh, beach style houses, uh, a little bit more work goes into them. Uh, so, I can't say when on that, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, of course course multiplayer options would be nice specifically playing live with people that aren't friends um, yeah let us get the um, the other stuff in first and, and see how it works with the um, uh, um, the new modes and you can like link up and play match play and stuff and then you know it's, it's, it's small steps at a time but yeah we hope to hope to constantly build on that Preach says, just call it mud on the ball for the ball squirt. Well, that's it's 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 called natural deviation. Mm -hmm. So there is a a percentage chance that everything's different. If you look on every every golf game, um, there is a a circle that the ball will land in, and it's much the same for the golf club. Mm. That's the thing. I mean, you can't you can't possibly think that you can laser focus. Uh, a blade of grass from the tee box. Even in real life, the pros, I guarantee you, they're not they're not picking out a specific blade of grass. And if they may think they're aiming at that, but they're probably not. Yeah, uh, exactly. So it sort of adds some realism in there. And plus, you know, you don't have shots off the toe or off the heel where that would not. You may swing a hundred percent, but it wouldn't go a hundred percent if you didn't hit the sweet spot. God, I can't even know. I'm straight. I think this controller's died. It's in a good spot there. Uh, okay, uh, come back to Fusion. Said, I mean, competitive players nowadays are shooting, are always scoring very low. It'd be nice to play on more realistic courses and get more satisfaction from making a birdie rather than disappointment from making a par. And I think, I guess he was going back to the difficulty, but that, I mean, if you take the aids off, <laughs> it's pretty difficult to score. Go really well, yeah, no, and, and yeah, there, there is a thing: is is it is it too easy to hit the fairway? And the, for the us players that play all the time, or you guys more so than myself now, um, that that hit these fairways all the time, you be you're, you're like the pros of the game. And you know, we, we we've got a, like how many people are on our forum? There's four thousand, and how many active? Maybe maybe one thousand, maybe less. And there's all these people saying it needs to be more difficult, but we've got like hundreds of thousands of people that have bought the game and we don't want to alienate all them people otherwise there, there won't be any future to TGC it will just be over so we need to we need to balance it in a way that it isn't just annoying that you're constantly in the rough for anyone that isn't an elite player um, so it's it's how do we do that how do we how do we make it more difficult off the tee how do we, and, and you know for f guys like Fusion yeah, do we do something in the fact that he can then hit the ball further? I want, I want the fact for him as an elite player to be able to hit the ball, like instead of 265, maybe 310. But there is more of a risk of hitting the uh, hitting uh, hitting the rough. Mm -hmm. But that's that sort of tuning that's going to come with that. I think that our 265 swing at the moment is a nice balance. You know, for a good uh, for good average golfers, you know, I play. I play the, like much like myself. I'm hitting rough. I'm hitting fairways. I like that, and I should be hitting 265. Mm -hmm. You know, but for the guys that are straight all the time, it needs to be riskier. I agree, um, but it needs to be like going three, no, 310, something like that. But it needs to be all within the same the same world and not a special pro mode. It's it's something that I was saying in that interview with the guys on OP Noobs the other day. Is that you get a lot of feedback from communities, and they'll say. Um, Oh yeah, um, you should. 
you should have this and it should be this and and it's not if everybody has got a valid opinion everybody that moans about the game everybody that likes the game everybody's opinion is, is equally as good you know, mm -hmm. it's searching through what they're saying to get to that answer of how we can fix it and most of the time uh, people will say oh this is how you should fix it it's like that's don't worry about the fixing of it it's like the problem for you is this and then we have to worry about how we're going to fix it and and it's not a pro mode that that in my opinion does not solve the issue that we've got the, pro the problem is is that it's not difficult for the for the people who are our elite players and that means that you know people like fusion should be hitting the ball a lot further Mm -hmm. but still within the thing you know I want to be playing fusion I want to see that he's hitting the ball like 310 and I'm sitting way behind you know and, and you know but he's got more of a risk of going off and if I try and do what he's doing I'm like in the water and I'm all over the place right. um, so it should be like that and that's that's my opinion okay uh, do, 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 uh, Royce asked in the forums what specifically can or can't you now update on the server side um, we can update anything to do with the swing on the, on the server side so not the animation but any any sort of power any any uh, any stuff like that that we can sort of control the numbers that go into it mm -hmm. it's a it's a handy handy little addition oh yeah. there you go pard that one got my two I'm really annoyed that I missed out on the uh, the par for the uh, <laughs> Uh, for hole six. For your shot, yeah. Yeah, that would have been my. Okay. Move in here, fifteen. All right, my. Okay. Let's see. We can do it. Beamer C, does the backswing have anything to do with ball trajectory? Uh, no. No, the backswing is all to do with the amount of power added to the shot because it's downward, it's downward speed. So the more, the higher you have it, the more time you've got to get the club down. Okay. Oh, still in the rough. Damn. Trying to get an approach shot close here. I haven't, I haven't been hitting too many close. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, RDH in the forums asks, will you consider adding the ability to upload a limited number of custom 3D objects per course. Uh, no, not at the moment. It's not. It's not that I don't want to do it. Um, you know, as I, I mentioned this last time, uh, City Skylines has done it really, really well. Um, the problem is, is, if you upload these things and then you put your course out there, and then I download your course uh, and I don't have them objects, um, there's a problem. And what one of the big points of the game at the moment is, is that our courses are like uh, under 100k each. So they're they're very very small to just like ping around the internet and just go yep yeah, there's a course there's a course there's a course. Once we start adding 3D objects, they start getting into megabytes and gigabytes sizes, and we don't want to be passing that around, you know, especially on on the consoles. That's when they don't like it, and I'm not even sure how we could get away with that on the console without uploading certain objects because mm -hmm. there could be some phallic objects people upload and then next minute people can download them for like objects and then Sony might not like that mm -hmm. as much and Microsoft might not like that much. Steam, you know, it's it's a lot easier on PC because there isn't these these like overarching things like, like companies that stop you from doing stuff. But then Sony and Microsoft are very, very good at making sure their platforms are safe for children and, and you know, safe for everyone. So, you know, viruses and everything else. Right. Okay. Uh, he also asked, are there any specific enhancements planned for the designer, either for the December update or a subsequent one, that you'd be willing to share? Um, not, not in the near future. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about having, uh, what do we make available to the public from the Pro Tools stuff? Do we, do we allow people to import, um, 
topographical data and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, there's constant discussions on that. Um, but it's not just a game thing. It's also, you know, looking at, at things outside of the game and, you know, when you, uh, you're making these certain professional tools for people. Is it like a... Um, is it good business for us to be giving them away for thirty dollars when uh, people are willing to pay a lot of money for us to, uh, to design courses for them in our course designer? Um, so yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, so I don't know. We're, we're constantly looking uh, at ways to improve it and do more things. You know, I think I think you know I'm a, I'm a big fan of The Sims and things like City Skylines where you you know you add creativity to the user. Uh, and you, so yeah, I don't know. Nothing is planned just yet, but mm -hmm. I can't. You know, there's always constant discussion of things that we could add. Uh, okay, I got a good discussion going on stats and things. Fusion said, "Don't you think it'd be nice if our stats were similar or a bit better than the best PGA players? Because we are um, superhuman currently." <laughs> yeah, no, and 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 that is that's true. Um, and as I said. Um, but I think our average user, if you look at their stats, are as the sort of stats that are, um, you know, not quite, not as good as a PGA player. And you know, people do to a degree play video games because they want to be better than they are in real life. You know, I don't want to be as bad at soccer as I am in real life when I play FIFA. Uh, I don't want to be some fat guy running around falling over and panting after two minutes. Um, <laughs> You know, and it's the same with golf. You know, I don't want to be like playing courses that, you know, these a course like this would be mostly too hard for me to play in real life. Um, so, you know, you want to be better than you are in real life. And what the thing we're trying to simulate in the game is that I can have the same thoughts and I can see the same shots I should be taking, um, but I'm not limited by my technical ability. And so, people have to be slightly better. And I think that you know we've got that that down pretty well for the average player at the moment they're, they're not as good as a PGA Pro but they're better than they would be in real life we do have an issue most probably with guys like Fusion and, and the elite members you know where the Jim Jams and the Doilies and all you guys out there that play the TGC Tours you're, you're really really good players and I think most probably is a little bit too easy for you and the only way you find it then challenging is to speed up the greens but there's several things you've got to think of here. Is like you've got to balance it in the right way. The game's been out for 18 months. If you've been in it from the uh, uh, from the um, early access, mm -hmm. and they're still playing, so it can't be that boring. Um, so it's it's just getting the balance right, you know. And and um, and yes, I want to make it more challenging. And yes, I want uh, Fusion to come away and think that he's had a really tough game of golf, and it's rewarding for him. Um, but I also want him to be rewarded for being a better player and not go like neck to neck with me around a course because I'm playing easy mode. And mm -hmm. that, you know, that's what the handicap system's for. And the handicap system was designed, you know, hundreds of years ago as well as golf, and it, and it's worked really, really well. So it's just getting that getting that feeling good. Mm -hmm. you know? and it's just it's just a matter of time and a matter of tuning and and going about things in a different different way. But having just a pro mode where everything's like super hard is is basically one lazy on our, on our part and two I don't think we'll give anyone a better experience yep. yeah it's got to be hard to, to yeah. <laughs> balance it all out for everybody yeah and that's and that's the thing and, you know it's just finding that nice that nice unlazy way of doing something it, so it feels it feels like the ultimate experience oh it's my birdie I need three points desperately <laughs> Getting late. Yeah, <sighs> gone. No. Only a couple of holes to go. She sends him with 32 points so far. Uh, Yeltsman said, I think the level is perfect. Tough enough for most. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, that, and I think that's, that's, that's correct. It's just, you know, there, there should be more of a challenge for certain people, and I agree with that, you know. But it's doing it in a way that it's a level playing field that you know I think the biggest problem that we've, we've got in the golf club is on the drive if me me Keith and Fusion all drive off at the same point at the moment we're all going to sort of land around the same place and that's that is the problem um, and there needs to be more 
uh, more work on that area, and and that's and that's why you know I believe that there should be a certain thing where Fusion can hit the ball 200, uh, 320 yards, and but it's going to be a lot harder for him to stand the fairway. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm hitting the ball 265, but I'm taking it easy. I'm a conservative player, and I'm likely to hit it straight 90% of the time. Uh, you know, if you look at my my stats, you know I'm 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 happy with the way I'm playing at the distances I'm getting. Mm -hmm. can make a putt finally no <laughs> uh, a few says the big question is why do people find it difficult to play because why do people find anything difficult you know why why do some people find maths hard why do some people find English hard why do some people find soccer hard you know some people are better at things than others and that's just the way it is and the other thing is People like you, Fusion, must be put more hours into it than the average user as well. So, you know, yes, we want to reward people that play the game more, but we don't want to, like, make it near impossible to play for people who, or near impossible to compete for people who don't have the time to put hours and hours in. Alright, final hole here of Dunholm. Manner. Oh, man. Um, this is by 24 hard. points. 24 points. I'm not going to win any society days with that, am I? <laughs> and, uh, I wouldn't come last either, I have to say. But, but yeah, look at look at this shot here. I'm, I'm not on the fairway. Oh, uh, might be. No, not on the fairway. Can we go across? Mm. There you go. Deep rough. So, um, like as I'm saying, I'm not I'm not finding it too easy off the tee. If you find the ferry, though, you do have a chance to go for the green, so let's see. Although this will probably be too much club, I'm going to end up back there by fusion, I bet. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have a monster putt. <laughs> this thing's going to be like a 60-footer, I bet. Oh, good lord. 86 footer. <laughs> Oof. I'm a bit closer than you. Yeah, going up a couple of feet too, so good luck with this one. Let's just give it a smash. Uh, uh, two putts going to look great at this point. Did I hit it? Oh, no. Par. Give me 26 for the day. Uh, now it's going to be a three putt par there. So Fusion ended up at 35. I had 33, and you had 26. Oof. Beaten again. <laughs> uh, Burton Katz says, keep up the great work, HB. That's good. Thank you. We try. We try. Uh, yeah, lots of back and forth about good players and bad players in the chat. Uh, yes, also, don't forget, there is a design contest we have set up, trying to get some, just waiting for uh, people to sign up. It's going to be, going to try something different. We're going to see it could be an epic fail, but I guess there's only one way to find out, but we're going to have you do three holes at a time, and you build your three holes, you're going to match up against someone, and we're going to put it, put it up to the community to vote on who they thought had the best three holes. The winners will advance, and they'll build three more hole, three more holes onto their course. And again, put it to a vote, see who moves on. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a try, and, and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, sounds it, fun. Yeah, by the end of it, hopefully, you know, uh, we'll be close to an 18-hole course. I mean, maybe we'll have to see how many people uh, help people get in. So we'll, we'll take it through and see how it goes. And uh, like I said, knockout getting really close to the finals, so those should be getting set up in the next few days, so keep an eye out for those as well. 
what else? Play days should be back this weekend. If I'm not underwater, they're talking about a hurricane coming up this way. So oh, we're getting it here as well. I just parked my car near the office door so I can get out at lunchtime. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, we had all that. We had all that rain the last few days, and it's all moved up into the northeast. But Gosh. they're saying with this hurricane coming up, I heard up to a foot of rain up in Boston. So you might be getting a lot more. Oh, it's just not good. After, uh, we haven't seen, well, the sun is out now, but it's still chance of rain, but this is like the first time we've seen the sun since like Wednesday, so. <laughs> I've got a great weekend ahead of me then, so uh, Scruffy, I might get to try, uh, plug my PlayStation in, take it out of the box, and uh, and friend request you. There you go. Yep, so alright guys, well thanks for tuning in, as always, always appreciate it. If you haven't hit the follow button, please do so. And, uh, yep, so keep an eye out. There, the suggested tournaments are up there, so go out and play those. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a few more up to them now, and uh, um, I've got Steve uh, helping me out a little now with some of this website stuff, because it was getting hard for me to do all it all, so uh, Steve's going to be helping me out. Cool. Um, and, yeah, so we should be getting a little bit more regular updates for the results and the, f and the uh, stuff like that, so all good. Cool, so, uh, so maybe Friday, maybe the new tournaments will go up. I'll have some more courses for you. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Great. Speak to you later.